In Japan, what quickly became the focus of concern were these spent fuel pools uh, sitting next to the reactors, not inside the primary containment of the reactors. They quickly became exposed to the environment, and the water in the pools boiled off, and, and uh, 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 the water in the pools boiled off, and it seems likely that they released uh, a fair amount of radiation into the atmosphere. It turns out our spent fuel pools in the United States are very tightly packed, um, in part because we don't have a plan for where to put the, the waste after it's cooled down a bit. The tighter the pools are, the more heat there is, and the more, the qu more quickly it becomes a problem if you lose power to the cooling. Uh, the, the pumps that circulate cool, cooling water throughout the pools. Long-term, high-level nuclear waste is poisonous for tens and hundreds of thousands of years. So we need to find a place to put it where it'll be safe and inaccessible long after we're gone. Um, already, we have generated in this country more nuclear waste than Yucca Mountain was designed for. So if it opened tomorrow, it would take many years to, f to get the stuff there, and we, it would already be full. There's also politics involved. The people of Nevada don't want it. Um, there's some regional justice issues involved. Most of the nuclear waste is produced in the east. Congress decided a long time ago that they should limit the size of Yucca Mountain so that the west doesn't have to deal with all of the east's radioactive waste. President Obama, in his push to expand nuclear power in the United States, started a Blue Ribbon Commission last year uh, to study this issue, to try to figure out what to do with nuclear waste. They are going to look at other sites for geologic storage. They're going to look at other things as well, including reprocessing, uh, which some countries like France and Japan and Russia do, to reuse some of the spent nuclear fuel as new fuel. They're also going to look at some 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 advanced technologies like a next generation reactor called a fast reactor that actually uses up nuclear waste as fuel and 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 gets rid of it almost completely